So let me just look first of all at your spiritual advice here. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. This is a card about holding on to the status quo, refusing to make any type of plans, any type of moves, any type of changes. And um, I feel like if you're dealing with somebody who is like this, who's kind of uh, aimless and kind of directionless and they're walking around, like they have a general idea that what they want, you know, they want stability, they want financial security, but they don't really know the logical steps as to how to get where they are to where they need to go. And so the advice here is talking about, you're dealing with somebody that has been through this, through their lives, through their entire lives. And they have dealt with a lot of financial ups and downs, you know. And so whenever they're in a situation where things are somewhat stable, it's not the ideal situation, but it's somewhat stable. They're going to stay there and they're going to stay there and they're going to stay there because they feel like if they um, make any type of an action, it might land them back into an earlier time where they didn't have any any resources where they were uh, struggling really hard so I feel you know it's sort of like the devil that you know if you are dealing with this person you have to be very 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 sympathetic understanding and um, I want to say compassionate enough to know that they're battling their inner demons Okay, and until they process and until they finish that entire process of battling amongst themselves, dealing with some fears, some really deep rooted security issues from their end, they're not going to be able to make a move. So you can talk to them and you can advise them and give them, you know, counsel to your blue in the face. They're not going to listen. And it's because they have some things they need to deal with. So I feel like this week is a lot more about compassion. It's a lot more about understanding. A lot of the times when we, we see things, what people are doing and we're outside of the situation, we can have, we, we feel like we have a lot more clarity and we feel like we should offer advice. We feel like we should, you know, tell them what they need to do. It's really easy being outside and giving, you know, your outsider's perspective, but you're not in their shoes. So, really embodying the the energy of compassion and understanding for this week okay not that you guys are not i know that you guys are but a lot of the times uh you want to interject you want to give advice and i feel like it might not be appropriate because you you need to kind of like understand what the other person is struggling with or what they've dealt with that creates the person that they are today and i feel like you might be too fast to give your two cents when it might not be appropriate for the other person or they're not at a point where they're ready to hear it, okay? Um, at the center of the spread, we have here the Ace of Cups. And this is a really, really big love that you have for another person. Reverse or upright, it doesn't really matter uh, when it's the Ace of Cups. It's sort of like a relationship that expands outwards, that changes people for the better, okay? Um, what I'm sensing here is I feel like in the past there might have been a, a, a big sense of like, are we on the same page? What is the direction of this love relationship? Uh, are we reciprocating? Are we, you know, moving things along where the two of us can build something solid and, and stable together? And in the past, this relationship meandered. It lacked direction. It lacked purpose. There were definitely, you know, feelings of great attraction, chemistry, as well as um, true love for the other person. But I feel almost like it's a somber type of a love where one person is sober. Not so much that, you know, you're dealing with an alcoholic, but I feel like one person saw the relationship and, and said, like, I love you, but we, we both need a lot of work or you need to do a lot of work on yourself before we can have, you know, this big love. And then the other person was just very chill, like go with the flow, whatever happens will happen. And of course, you know, you're the planner here, Virgo. So I feel like you saw it in a very sobering light, whereas the other person saw it in a very highly romanticized light. Um, in the challenge position, we have here the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is sort of like, what else is there? Is there more to life? Is there more to this relationship? Is this it? Are we able to move forward? Are we, am I going to be offered more? 
And I feel for some of you in a relationship, you might feel like you're at a point where you are outgrowing it. Okay, not that you're looking for other people, but I feel like you have a lot of things that you want to get done. In the foundation, we have here the Knight of Cups, and I feel like you have somebody that really, really, really loves you. And it, it's to the point where you care about them. They're, they don't have any faults, you know, they're really loving, affectionate, they're caring, they have really deep compassion. They're a really, really nice person, but for whatever reason, they're not internally motivated. They don't get things done. And I feel like it's sort of, um, in order for you to love somebody, you want somebody to take charge. You want somebody to, you know, not just sit there and, and, and let life pass away. You want someone who is productive. And um, I know that doesn't sound, you know, incredibly sexy, but I feel like for a lot of Virgo and people, you want somebody that, you know, just... Um, is not just all talk, but they're action oriented. And I feel like this person is a little bit slow when it comes to finding their direction, finding their, their purpose, finding whatever inspires them. So I feel like they, they go out and they please other people, but they don't really have a strong sense of what do they want as an individual. In the crowning position, this is something you're thinking about. I have here the devil in the reverse. Um, you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn in particular. And um, with this devil in the reverse energy, I feel like you're coming to the point where you know what needs to be fixed, where you know it's sort of like um, putting your foot down about what you want, what types of behavior, behavior you will not tolerate, and what types of partner you're trying to manifest into the picture. I feel like some of you might have a few options here. You have a, a potentially a really sweet person. I don't see it as a water sign. A very, very sweet person who is trying to approach you, but I feel like you're, you like them, but you don't think that they have everything that you need, or you don't think that, you know, personality-wise, you two are too compatible and so you're kind of leaving them on the back burner and you're hoping that you know oh maybe they'll get the hint but either way there's a lot of communication a lot of messages of love a lot of solicitation invitation and things like that coming into the picture for you and then as a result of it i feel like you're expanding your social circle and whatever status quo whatever the relationship you're in you're finding that it is all right but it's missing something like it's all right but it's not the ideal situation likewise the person that you're dealing with as well they're trying to get things moving in their lives so they're at a point where they're coming to realize as well where i am right now it's all right it's it's somewhat stable but it's not the ideal situation so i need to get out there and do something new External to your environment, we have here the star card in the reverse. This is sort of like the other person lacking in the imagination and lacking in that sense of, you know, what are my options? Let me go out into the world and explore. Let me do some type of internet-based searches. Let me do something that can really help me figure out where I want to go because they have a very vague idea. It's like out there, it's it's something that they're thinking about, but they don't really know the, the steps to get there. And I feel a lot of it is because they're walking around, taking care of other people, enjoying uh, what little stability that they have right now. And they're not really thinking about long-term prospects and they they don't really have a sense of you know a lot of the times um the most successful people are not the most hard working but they're the ones with the big vision so it's really hard if you're walking around trying to figure out a career path when you don't really have anything that inspires you and some people for example uh they know from a very young age you know like five six seven years old i want to be a doctor i want to be a lawyer i want to be an astronaut i want to work with animals and so when they have really really strong passions either to teach to take care of things to take care of people to build things then it's really easy for them to find a career. But you're dealing with someone who doesn't really have these really strong drives, ambitions, passions. And so they might have, you know, they might dabble in many, many things. We see like the eight stars here. But they don't have that one thing, that one common purpose. And until they find it, they're going to be kind of aimless and directionless and their lives will meander and they will, you know, take up many, many jobs and hop around, but never finding that true calling. 
And that's what's happening right now, I feel, with somebody that you're dealing with. And it's easy for you to give them advice, Virgos. It's easy for you to do it. But they have to kind of like find their path, okay? I do want to pull up a card here. What are they going to rest upon? Like, what are they going to decide? They might just settle for the job that bring them, brings the most um, financial stability. Okay, they might just like uh, juggle between the, the, the two jobs. And I feel like this is, you're dealing with someone who has been dealt some really bad financial blows, okay? And um, as a result of it, they just want that financial security. And you know, once you get to your, to that point where you can afford a certain standard of living when you're not constantly in survival mode that's honestly when you have the luxury to kind of look at and really look at your life outside of survival mode and you can try to figure out like you know where do my passions lie what do i want to do um so i feel like they need to get there first so maybe they just need to you know suck it up and accept this job or accept this offer for financial stability and then from this space of financial financial stability that's when they can begin to grow and you know really figure out what they want and where their passions lie in your hopes and fears this is a card about stagnation no new starts and i feel like there is a situation here where you are already outgrowing the partner you're outgrowing the the it could even be a, a job situation you're not really inspired anymore you're feeling like you're going through the motions. You're feeling like, yes, I'm able to help people because the star card is the humanitarian card. But I feel almost like you're going through the motions. You're not feeling passionate and inspired anymore. And you're afraid that, you know, if I leave this job, there might be that financial fluctuation as well. I'm getting paid so much. So if I were to start over, I have to start from scratch at the bottom of that totem pole. And is that enough for me? So I feel like you have some major serious decisions here that you're ruminating over as a result of, you know, you're progressing and expanding so fast that your physical reality is not really catching up. And that's why you feel the sense of boredom when it comes to your present predicament. The partner that you're dealing with, you could be dealing here with an, um, an earth sign that you feel you're carrying the burden. You're, you're kind of like, this person I feel is on your back and you're carrying them while you're trying to find the direction for yourself. It's not a comfortable position. And I feel like there might have been many, many conversations about this in the past. And I feel like it's being triggered for this week. Okay, so we're heading into conflict here. Um, it's also a card about competition. So for some of you, um, single people, we have lots of suitors. Okay, we have people that are really interested in you, lots of communication coming through from these suitors. And we also have, you know, people battling for your attention, vying for your attention. So it's a really good space to be. But I, I definitely feel like you're still possibly tied up to, uh, to the past. There are like some unfinished business things like information that's not 100% revealed in a relationship from your past, you're still thinking about it. You might not be physically in it. You might be completely single, but there are unresolved business or unresolved questions and you want to get answers to. And so you're not at a point where you can move on and entertain new people yet. For others of you, I feel like this is a soul searching type of a week for you and your relationship partner. You're trying to figure out, you know, you're, you're trying try to be loving and supportive and compassionate. And I feel like your partner is as well as trying to find that direction, trying to find what inspires them. Okay.